Welcome guys, by now it's an old story that PUBG is losing popularity and active players. And despite their efforts adding new maps, features, weapons, gadgets and hosting major esports tournaments with gigantic prize pools, the game keeps trending downwards. So what is the reason for this and how can PUBG turn things back around if at all that is possible? The reason for PUBG's downtrending player account is not really something you can assign to one thing. It's not the cheating issue because all major PvP shooters have issues with cheating, albeit some more than others. It's not the bugs or performance issues that the game historically has been suffering from because let's be honest, the game as we know it today has quite few bugs and it's got reasonable performance, even when comparing it with other competing titles. It's not that the game is too expensive and making it free to play would solve all problems because PUBG has had two major free to play events. One lasted a weekend and the other an entire week and neither has had any noticeable effect on the player base. The reason we've come to this also isn't just because of the bad decisions regarding the game direction or lack of proper interesting lore. It's not that the game isn't getting new weapons, new maps, new features, vehicles, gadgets, gimmicks, skins or gun balances because over time it has gotten all of this. While all of the before mentioned definitely have had an impact on the dropping player accounts and surely the fact that PUBG is a very difficult game and new players are getting destroyed when they enter the game at this late stage in the game. The root of the problem in my opinion lies with the lack of proper player retention systems and lack of innovation towards the battle royale experience. And this goes hand in hand with the failed strategy of constantly increasing the amount of maps and sticking with just too many different queues for too long that all polarizes and dilutes the player base. I don't blame PUBG for adding more maps because back with the release of Miramar and Sanag, it certainly seemed to increase the hype for the game and the game still had an insane player base to easily support it. But there has not been a timely change in direction and that is part of the reason we're here today. So what can PUBG do to turn this around? First of all, the game needs an innovative tweak on the Battle Royale experience, because we've all played the same experience for years now. And what would that look like? Well, it's something new, something either not seen before or something that completely innovates and adds multiple layers of depth to the existing PUBG experience. This could be things such as developing PUBG into having an MMO type persistent world with persistent economy and social features like a giant social hub. Imagine being able to hang out in PUBG outside of the menu and outside of being in an actual battle royale round, being able to walk around in a social hub environment where you could interact with vendors that would allow you to purchase items such as different skins for different guns, different factions that you could earn reputation with for playing in certain ways or doing certain missions that would then allow you to further customize your appearance, PUBG ID and overall in-game identity. An entire persistent economy fueled by a currency rewarded for doing missions, playing the game, getting kills and obviously chicken dinners. Like just imagine if you got an actual virtual chicken dinner for winning and that the chicken dinner could be redeemed into unique cosmetics, titles and so on. It could also be an innovation of the sheer scale of the game. Perhaps many of the current maps blended together as a way of reducing the amount of maps because I think the game really needs to reduce its amount of maps and do this while increasing the amount of players to make the experience even more epic. But increasing map size or player count won't necessarily make the game experience better and it will also potentially create more problems until the player base has gone up. So doing something like this would require a unique way of doing it and honestly, I don't know what that looks like. But a massive event that somehow changes the way PUBG handles their map system could be very cool. The game could also innovate by mixing the PUBG Battle Royale experience with extraction elements such as those known from Tarkov. Perhaps you could collect certain items from the world that you'd only secure if you managed to extract them somehow. The extraction mode of Tarkov is a unique experience that really puts you on the edge of your seat because you want to get out alive with the loot you've found. How you would extract items and what those items would look like, I honestly don't know. Definitely shouldn't have to win the game to be able to extract stuff, but it could be that only a few people would be able to extract in each game or that you would be able to deposit your items somehow during the game. I'm not sure, but this is also just an example of the level of innovation I think would be required to get people to come back. 
The game also needs a deep progression system that makes people stay and grind the game for longer. A deep progression system perhaps built around the already existing weapon mastery system concept. The base idea of the weapon mastery system in PUBG is great. The weapons are truly difficult to master and the gun mechanic design of PUBG is truly one of its absolute core features and selling points. I already made a list of suggestions for the weapon mastery system more than two years ago, suggesting several improvements and upgrades for the system. How about being able to show the level of the weapon you used in the kill feed, or add weapon prestige levels to the weapons that are still being used and leveled after reaching level 100, and then also being able to show that in the kill feed. Nowadays, we know that the technology for this is there, because this is what they do with their crazy expensive progressive weapon skins. How about unique weapon achievements that gives you cool rewards that you can then show off when you kill people or show off to your friends and to strangers in the MMO Persistent World Social Hub? Imagine getting a thousand kills with snipers and then unlocking a golden 8x scope for all snipers. And why doesn't each weapon have a list of missions and achievements that when completed gives even more cool rewards, emblems, PUBG ID backgrounds, attachment skins and so on. Like, just imagine the sheer amount of progression you could do with this system with just cool skins as rewards. This would, to some extent, however, drive traffic away from the in-game store when it comes to players buying skins. But the players will be more satisfied playing the game, play for longer, and increasing the player base should open up for new monetization opportunities that does not seem like you're simply taking advantage of your players like the ultra-expensive multi-thousand dollar skins available in the hideout. And finally, once you've innovated the game and added proper player retention systems, which should be possible given that you are indeed a multi-billion dollar game developer, then you need to do a full well thought out new branding with a marketing campaign that tells players that this is basically a new game. This is not PUBG anymore, this is PUBG Chapter 2. I think this is needed as most players who could be interested in a game like PUBG probably already bought it and left for a reason. The game had already sold 70 million copies back in 2020, and I'm not sure what that number is right now, but I bet you could probably easily add a few more millions to that sales count by now. The key point here is to clearly signal to the players that this is not the experience they already know, but on a new map with a new pointless gadget. This is a new, innovative experience based on the successful gunplay and intense battle royale feel that is PUBG. This also means adding stuff like a new in-game menu to make sure that the experience when you open the game clearly feels like a new one, with innovative gameplay and player retention features that matches. All in all, at this point, I don't see that there's any chance that new maps, weapons, or adding a smoke gun will turn around the downtrending active player account. It will take a big change, and most of all, PUBG needs to find a way to make their players who already own the game come back and stay. And to do that, you'll need to innovate the gameplay experience and gameplay loop. You need to add proper player retention system with good rewards and have a profound marketing campaign that clearly signals to everybody that this is not the PUBG they used to know. This is a new experience that they need to come back to play. Do this and people will come back. However, whether or not people will stay will, despite of having good player retention features, still ultimately come down to the game being fun to play. However, at this point, it might just be easier to make PUBG 2. I do love PUBG, and I think the game could be so much more. Thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you guys next time.